We're going to inspect a solo clutch. First thing we want to do is remove the inspection cover. Bolts, make sure we put that back on in place when we're done. Keep dirt and debris out. With that off, what we're going to use to turn the uh, clutch is a ring gear turning tool that'll fit into the teeth on the ring gear and uh, that goes into the front side of the flywheel housing. From the flywheel housing we want to make sure that goes back in as well and we're going to insert the turning tool and engage it into the flywheel housing itself. It makes a very nice smooth easy operation to get that clutch round to where we can uh, view the uh, adjustment is shown here. We want to make sure that when we uh, check it to see if it's worn out or not that we have a technician in the cab depress the clutch pedal to disengage the clutch and then what we'll do is we'll move the wear indicator to the new position. The technician will lift up on the clutch pedal so that it engages the clutch. That'll hold that indicator in the new position. Once they step on it uh, five times, it will allow it to move into the position where it's worn to. If it goes to the replace, then we have to replace the clutch. And so now what we're going to do to confirm that this is cl a clutch is adjusted correctly is we're going to check the distance between the release bearing and the clutch brake right here. So we use this half inch measuring stick. We put it up inside and you can see that it fits nicely. So that's half an inch. That's where we want it. So the clutch in fact is adjusting up correctly. Now since we're done our adjustments here take it out notice the hole in the front of the flywheel housing we want to make sure we put the plugs back in to keep dirt and debris out. The free pedal and measure it. So we're using our measuring tape and we're just going to depress the pedal until it gets hard and you can see that we want one and a half to two inches here we've got about inch and three quarters, which is fine for this clutch. Inch and three quarters. Squeeze by pushing all the way down on the clutch, and you can see that uh, there's uh, the pedals ended before it hits the firewall or floorboards. That's very important to indicate that you have good clutch brake squeeze, so that you can get the transmission into first and reverse.